Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and I'm taking you through an asset called Amplify Imposters. And you can see a set of barrels here. One set is the normal, and one set is the imposters. You might ask me, what are imposters? These are meant to be specifically used for background assets, so you take a high polygon or any sort of reference asset, and then you can make a very low polygonal style mesh, which is used as a custom shader to reproduce that to save on draw calls and to save on third C count within your scene. It may up the memory slightly because it uses a custom shader and other things like that, but it's something to take into account. This is great on using any object that you want to use as background props, and you can use this in Unity's LOD system so you can pretty much cull away objects which will change at distance. So if you see here, these are all the imposted versions of the asset and only when we obviously use a Unity LOD group do they become the high resolution version. So I've got a bunch of barrels here. Can you actually tell me which is the real set of barrels and which one's the imposter? Now let's take this light blue barrel here. What we need to do to actually create an imposter ourselves is we need to add a component called the Amplify Imposter. We've got a few settings that we can use, choose LOD group, or if you've already created imposter, you can add that here. You can just, if you want to use default settings, you can just click bake imposter, but it's good to use custom settings and you can just click the little plus here. So I'll run through everything you need to know. It'll choose where you want to save it. This will just save it in the default place where this will be, and it will just underscore the actual already the object that you have. So I can just save it in there where it already exists. And you've got a bake type. You've got spherical, octahedron, and hemi-octahedron. And each of them have a bonus and a trade-off. Spherical is the cheapest to run because it uses the simplest shader. But you will see some issues when you rotate around the object. You can change that to use the octahedron style. And as you move around it, it will be much more accurate. But it will lose a detail up close. So I'll give you the spherical now. You've got a default texture size, which it will create and you've got a set of axis frames so how many faces that it will create all the way around to make this more accurate if you up that and you'll add more resolution to it and the padding is how many padding in case you get any sort of texture leaking issues or anything with mip maps in terms of so you don't want anything overlapping on the texture map you can click on the billboard section and you can set the bounding around your specific object that it's going to create you can choose the automatic, which works for most objects, but you can adjust these, setting the vertices and the normal scale. If not, you can choose manual, and you can select any point that you want and move these around if you need to. And of course, you could set new vertices if you want to be slightly more accurate if you've got a more complex model. You can also check out the bottom here, which is the bake preset, which will actually let you choose which specific parts of the material or which textures it should create for this specific imposter you could just click to bake the imposter and once you've done that it will create a new object which is just called imposter and if i pull that out here that it's created a representation of our asset the only reason this barrel has come out red and the other one was blue and that's because it's got a special shader on which changes the color of the barrel depending on the position and that was built into the shader that was given within this amplify imposter package and of course this one does look a little bit more janky because we're quite close up and imposters are meant to be used to be objects that are in the distance so if you did see something and you wanted it in the background that's perfectly fine as i say if i go to the wireframe view you could see how many triangles it's made out of compared to the 2000 triangles that we used here before now if you do want to be more accurate you can select back on your original model if you want and we can set to use the octahedron style and we can keep the settings exactly the same and then we can choose to bake the imposter again. Now you can see when we're up close there is some distortion and loss of quality so now if we go into the distance where you'd expect them to be and you don't necessarily notice a big issue with how it looks from a distance and it looks fairly accurate to the lighting that's used in this scene. And each of the times that, that you do do make an imposter, you have various settings on the custom shader to adjust the clipping because they use an alpha cutout to create a lot of these objects. So you can adjust shadows and clipping and you want to adjust these to see how you want these to look within the scene. Now there's a one more that we can look at, which is called hemi-octahedron, which is two times the precision of the standard octahedron and you get an even better 
version of quality in there. There is a caveat that it does suffer from really close up as the others were suggested, but again, at distance, there is even less noticeable difference between how the quality of the asset looks. And again, you can open up its shader and adjust even more settings to how this should visually look. Because we've created our own imposter, we might want to use it in an LOD group. So I can just add a component called Unity's LOD group. So when we've got Unity's default LOD group here, I just like to remove what we've currently got here. And I'll have LOD zero and the cold version. So you can see here, I might just open that out because I want to see when we're this close. And so maybe about here, we're going to cut it out. I'm going to add the renderer to LOD zero. And I'm just going to select my normal barrel. You can see it here. We use it normally. And when we get this distance, it's called out. Now, that's great. But we want to be able to add one of our imposters that we create to this section. So you can see now down here in the amplify shader imposter, you could see that we've already got our imposter asset that it's using and it already finds the LOD group that we've just added. Because we added in the LOD group, I would recommend to remove your amplifier imposter component if you haven't already and just make sure that you make another creation of that. And you can see that then we get the LOD insert settings. So I'm going to use the octahedron setting, leave it as default really. And you can choose where to insert it into your LOD group. So you can choose where you can replace the cold version, replace last, replace all set, replace specific, or insert after. Insert after zero in this case. And then I'm just going to hit make imposter. And now you can see it's added it to our LOD one section. Now I'm going to keep this visible for longer, uh, the zero, so the real version. So as we move our camera, I'll put it to the shaded wireframe so you can just about see it. So as we move the camera, you can see that then it has switched to our imposter. And then we, as we move away, it'll eventually be cold. If we go to the full normal view, you can see that how it fades out to this. Now you might say to me that, well, it's a little bit limited if I just have one object. Now I've got a bunch of objects here, which is a bunches of barrels and boulders. And you can actually use imposters to bake out bunches of objects together. This doesn't matter if they use different materials or textures, so they'll all be baked down into one particular material for you to be able to use. So what you could do is you can create yourself an empty parent. So I'll right click and choose empty. I'm just gonna reset the transforms and I'm just going to call this my barrel boulder parent. And do be aware, it's best to place the parent pivot in an appropriate place where you expect it to be roughly center of the objects. So what we'll do is we'll make all of these other assets children by dragging them over to the parent. Now we can use the parent and add the amplify imposter selection. So you'll be able to see that the, the barrel on boulder parent has all the child objects included and you can see them all here. And if I go to the wireframe, you can see that there are all much higher polygon based assets. Then if I go to that parent and add the amplify imposter component, it will then take all those into account. We can press the little plus and I'll just save the barrel on bold parent underscore imposter. I'll save that. We'll get the base settings like we did before, along with the preset and the billboard, as you can see how it bunches them together. And then we're just going to bake the imposter. Now, if I find the imposter here and you can see that it's baked out a representation of the assets. And of course, because I use the octahedron example, they do lose a lot of resolution up front. And of course, you can change the amount of frames up the resolution to make this slightly more visible up closer. But again, when you've got them so far away, they're not really noticeable against the core assets. But you can see if we switch to the wireframe mode, how small that bunch of assets actually is in comparison to the thousands and thousands of polygons that these would be. So this is a great way to bake out bunches of objects, not just one at any given time. If you do want to install this asset, you can find this in the package manager. Go to window, package manager, and go to my assets. And then you can search amplify imposter. And then you can just add that to your project and it's pretty much ready to go. Other than if you want to install the URP version and there will be a pop up in the middle of the screen, which will let you install all the examples. So if you do like this asset, be sure to check it out on the Unity Asset Store because it's a great one to get hold of if you're looking to save on performance and you find this useful for you. And if you like this video, be sure to throw a like on it and make sure you subscribe because it helps me out massively. And do be sure to check out my Patreon as well 
If you want over 225 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to all my patrons, special thank you to Very Shutha and Party of 10 for their amazing support. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.